Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about intermolecular forces and we're going to focus on one of them, the strongest one, hydrogen bonding. Have you ever thought why some compounds are liquid at room temperature while the other ones are gases or solid? There should be something in liquids or solids holding them together. They're called intermolecular forces. These attractive forces hold the molecules together but pay attention that they are non-covalent interactions. There are going to be five different non-covalent interactions. Three of them are called intermolecular forces because they occur between molecules. Hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole, and London force are in this category. The other two are not called intermolecular forces because they involve ions. However, they're still in the category of non-covalent interactions. These two forces are ion dipole and salt bridge. Today, we're going to explain to you guys one of these intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is the strongest of the intermolecular forces. So let's zoom in to see the details about this force. We have hydrogen covalently bonded to an electronegative atom. Since hydrogen is not a very electronegative atom, we have a highly polar bond. This hydrogen is partially positive, while the electronegative atom attached to the hydrogen is negative. Now, this hydrogen is strongly attracted to a lone pair on the other electronegative atom. I have drawn some molecules on the board to make the concept more understandable for you guys. Let's say we have an oxygen, a highly electronegative atom, bonded to a hydrogen. These guys are one molecule, which is strongly polar. The oxygen is partially negative because of the lone pairs on it, and the hydrogen is partially positive. We also have another molecule, which has an electronegative atom. Keep in mind that this electronegative atom should have at least one lone pair on it, which makes it negative. Now we have this partially positive hydrogen on one molecule and this partially negative oxygen on the other molecule. These two atoms attract each other, which results in a bond, in a non-covalent bond called hydrogen bonding. So let's see what atoms are considered as strongly electronegative. Nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Hydrogen bonding only occurs between a hydrogen bonded to either a nitrogen, an oxygen, or fluorine which gives us a strong dipole molecule. And on the other side, we have again, either a nitrogen, an oxygen, or fluorine, and their lone pairs. Keep in mind that hydrogen can bond with any of these guys. Let's do an example, water. We have this partially positive hydrogen bonded to the electronegative oxygen. On the other molecule, we have exactly the same. We have this electronegative oxygen with its lone pairs. Now, this partially positive hydrogen is strongly attracted to this lone pair on the oxygen. And we have the same thing between every single of these molecules. And this electrostatic force keeps all these molecules together, and that's exactly hydrogen bonding, the non-covalent hydrogen bonding. We hope this video helps you guys to understand the concept of hydrogen bonding since it's a very important concept in chemistry. You guys are going to need this in order to understand many more concepts. And again, thanks for coming guys.